Yeah, hold on. Uh -huh. All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we'd like to give our praise on the glory too. Yahweh ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai ba Hashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the elders and our apostles of Great Millstone that taught us the truth and salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jehovah, by Hashem is in the name. Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. The Rakak Wadash is the Holy Spirit. I'm the brother I will love you join with. Brother Yashari. It's your brother Yaradon. And we're coming back at you, uh, brothers and sisters of the Hope of Righteous Elect, with another lesson. You know, basically entitled this lesson, you know, the life of a prophet. You know, because us, you know, um, us in this truth, you know, the men that are called to be prophets, you know, we go through things. Just uh -huh. like our forefathers of the ancient world, you know, starting with Yahweh Shai, you know, who is a prophet, you know, they all went through certain things, you know, starting with Yahweh Shai on down. You know, mental afflictions, bodily afflictions, demons, you know, um, messing, you know, uh, with a lot of them. They say Yahweh Shai was tempted on all sides, mm -hmm. you know. Our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai was tempted on all sides. And this is the life of a prophet. You're going to go through things, you know. Mm -hmm. But with the first scripture, we got Sirach 2 and 1. Huh. Better known as Ecclesiasticus 2 and 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, prepare thyself for temptation. Well, when we come to serve the Lord, just know you in for a hell of a ride, man. That's right. You know, motherfuckers, because as Elder Apostle Gabar always say, man, you got to know what you're involved in. Because motherfuckers think this shit some games, fun and games when they come in. You know, a lot of these camps have an edge of light, you know, talent shows and shit, mm -hmm. you know, things of that nature. Not knowing what they're involved in, man. You got to understand that when you come into this truth, you're going to be in a fight of your life, man. Mm -hmm. right. It says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure. And make not haste in a time, uh, so like it. Make not haste in a time of trouble, uh, right? So Set you, you got it out. You got it out. Uh, nah, because I was gonna say, and that right there tells you, like the brother said, it's gonna be a hell of a ride, man. You know, it's not just gonna be all fun and games, peaches and cream, because you are fighting for your life, man. That's right. You know, and that's why I say, set the heart right. You gotta constantly endure the 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 flight that's gonna be that come to you. You know, uh, being spit on by these different uh people, hated on. You know, people actually wanting to kill you because they are haters of uh, Yahweh Bashmi Shah. They hate Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. So we're coming in the name of Yahweh Shah. What do you think that was going to happen to us? They're going to hate us, man. And yeah. it's going to be a, a hatred that they don't even understand, man. They don't even know why they hate us, man. Why? Oh, but the only thing that we know is that uh, the, the ways of this world is not at the ways of the Heavenly Father. So mm -hmm. as soon as you uh, take on uh, these words and apply them to your life, you just made yourself a prey to this world, man. Yeah. Right. That's why you have what y'all say. I send you for a sheep among wolves, be he up for wires and serpents and harmless as dogs. Yep. You know? right. It says, and make not haste in the time of trouble, right? So don't basically try to deliver yourself out these situations that the Lord put you through. Because mm -hmm. us men of the Lord, we're going to go through certain things, you know, a lot of things. It says, cleave unto him and depart not away. That thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Because well, what they say, what don't kill you, make you strong. Yeah, exactly. As to, you know, <laughs> you put on your post, uh, man, only the, only only the, the strong, strong to survive, survive. Yeah. you know? And only the strong will survive because, well, you have to be mentally strong, you know, to be in this truth. You have to be battle-hardened, and this truth will make you battle-hardened, mm -hmm. you know? It says um, that that might be increased at thy last end because ultimately the Lord is going to bless you through the trials and tribulations that you go through if you, you know, happen, you know, if you endure you know, until the end. Mm -hmm. It said, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. It right says, whatever is brought upon thee cheerfully. What's the things that be brought, up, uh, brought upon you? You know, you're going to have your family turned against you. You know, you're going to have uh, uh, financial problems. You're going to have bodily afflictions. You're going to have Satan tempting you on all sides. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to have um, basically unfortunate things happen to you in this truth, man. Mm -hmm. You know? It says, but it says, what well, upon thee take cheerfully. That means what? You know, everything that's come upon you, the trials and tribulations that you go through, you have to deal with it. But ultimately, what? You have to, um, what's a good word for it? Basically, accept the things that's happening to you at that very moment. It says, and be patient with our change to a lower state. If you go into that word patient, it means what? To so. suffer. You know, it says, and be patient, suffer when thou art changed to a lower state. And being men of the Lord, you know, being prophets, you're going to, you know, you know, nine times out of ten, you know, in this walk, you know, you're going to be put in that lower state. You know, mm -hmm. the Lord is going to, you know, put you in the fire, take you out the fire for a little bit, then put you right back in. You know, verse five, it says, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, right? Going into that fire, the trials and tribulations that you're going to go through. That's that fire. You know, mm -hmm. to basically what to refine you as a better person at the end of that at, at, at the end of that trials and tribulations, mm -hmm. you know, 
uh, y'all brothers wanted to make a point? Or? I know. Con. It says, believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way of right and trust in him. Right. It's about, you know, trusting and having faith in your help by Shem Shai. You know, knowing that he will get you out these situations. That's what caused a lot of men to fall aside because what? They believe that the what? The Lord is not dealing with them and the Lord forgot about them when they're going through these trials and tribulations. But that's just Satan. You know, uh, what's that scripture I talks about? You know, um, you know, uh, basically, you know, Peter, you know, Peter, you know, the whole sifting process. Mm -hmm. How it talks about, you know, Satan desire to sift you as uh, wheat. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what Satan is, uh, uh, is trying to, you know, to basically what? To take us out this truth. You know? That's his job. Yeah, you know, every day. So like, you got you know, I was just going to say, yeah, he want to agitate your mind, man. And pick at your mind. I remember when I was a shorty. My cousin used to be like, Granny, you like my cousin, you see him agitate me. She's like, stop agitating people. But that's what Satan though. He a bug. He gonna be in your man messing with you. You just gotta gird up your loins and mm -hmm. you know put off the weak nature, man. Your thoughts. Yeah. With that being said, you can grab that scripture bubble, Sean. Uh, second Edge is fourteen and fourteen. You you uh, read verse ten. Oh, yeah, matter of fact, yeah. So like it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Read that bubble, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a rock. Yeah, it's a lock it. Yeah, keep going. Let me pull it back up. I mean, you can read that since you if just you, jump you, the ten. Can I just jump yeah, the ten? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, um. Just the book of Sirach, chapter 2, and verse 10. Look at the generations of old, and see. There ever any trust in the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and was confounded? See, and this is what a lot of people forget, you know. Um, you know, as the brother was making the point about being in the truth and going through your hardships, mm -hmm. your tribulations, whatever the Lord have uh, set for you as a man or a woman uh, to go through, uh, living out these last days. You know, hey, the Lord never, he never... Uh, um, uh, forgot about the ones that served him. You know, he never forsaken anyone who who uh, took on his word and wanted to live by his ways, man. Hey, but what a lot of people are, have done, they've lost lost patience, man. You know, so they 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 settled for that job and they they to not go out on the Saturdays and the Fridays. They settled for that um their their consolation, whatever it may have been. They settled for that. Why? Because they lost their patience in the Lord, man. Hey, but the Lord told us, look at the generations of old. So we have faith within these words, man. You know, because they this is this is our life uh, in this Bible, man. So we look at, uh, at this for a, 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 a comfort. We look at this for confirmation. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of looking at uh, the ways of this world or anybody in this world and their vain opinion for confirmation, man. Because the Lord is not going to forsake anybody that put their trust in him. So, you know, when it comes to all of the prophets, all of the believers of the Lord, they're going to be persecuted. But the Lord told us that it, this was a light affliction, man. So, like, you finished it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, um, look at the generations of old and see, did any ever trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Mm -hmm. All right, so, 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 yeah, man, the Lord say, um, um, what do you say? Um, I, I will say I, I will deliver him because he have known my name. He set his love on me, and mm -hmm. I will deliver him because he have known my name. Cause, so we got like the word, man. We got this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which is going to be the stability of our time. We're going to call on the name of Yahweh Shem Shai. It's a strong tower, man. All right, uh, that secret place. We're going to be hidden in that secret place in these um, cli climactic times, man, because shit is finna escalate to Jacob's trouble. That's the point of the lesson, man. Gird up your loins mm -hmm. and put off the weak nature, man, and know that you're going to suffer tribulations, man, because the Lord is building us up to endure the worst time in world history. Well, everybody else finna be panicking and bugging the fuck out. The men of the Lord is going to be stable in these times, man, through this mm -hmm. wisdom I was understanding. Uh, <coughs> if I, if you may, cause you uh, it's like you you call for a scripture, you want it? No, no, no. I read this Romans. 5? Yeah, uh, grab Romans on. five real quick. Come um, on. I'll just start at one real quick, man. It's Romans chapter five, uh, verse one it says, "Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with Yahweh through our Lord Yahweh Shabbat by whom also we have mm -hmm. access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and uh. rejoice in hope of the glory of Yahweh, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, right. knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience, experience, and experience hope. So as we continue to go through these things, 
you know, our, our tribulations, our afflictions, and we don't take losses, man. We take them as lessons. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. To be a better man than we was last week. To be a better uh, uh -huh. father to my children than I was last year. To be a better man to society than society has raised me to be. Uh -huh. You know, because we have that hope in the in a better world, a better kingdom, a new heaven. So yeah. we, we have new conversations, man. We're taking on this word. We we, we are becoming new creatures. We're taking on this word. Why? Because we, we're, we're getting our minds prepared for a new place. So when we see all of this wickedness going on, we having our afflictions, our ups, our downs. We got to remember to serve the Lord. Because no matter what, hey, this is for all men to do, man. The Lord said that this is um the, for all men. Uh, What does it say? Uh, seek ye first. The kingdom. And all these things shall be added and, unto you. All these things going to yeah. be added unto you, man. So as a, a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, hey, man, these uh, uh, words is supposed to be the first thing taught to you. But unfortunately, being uh, uh, raised in this bullcrap world, in this bullcrap society, uh, being ran by this bullshit of Esau Edom, you know, we don't have that. You know, so it's all about the mercies of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh that we are given his word to take on to. And have that hope and that faith in a new world, a new, uh, a new kingdom, a, a new, just a new way of life, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Joe. Kind of, uh, you want to get that uh, second address for uh, fourteen and fourteen? Um, I think so. Come on, let me go ahead and read that right fast. Second address, chapter fourteen, verse fourteen. Say, let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature, man. So yeah, that's playing upon tables, man. Um, what's the one the scripture say? Um, uh, take no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take care of itself. Mm -hmm. You know, and then it goes to the food, clothes, and shelter. Say for these are the things that the Gentiles worry after. You know, roughly paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. So the point is mm -hmm. that you know we have faith in Yahweh Shai that 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 He's going to give us daily provisions, our daily bread, and then we believe that um. You know, he's going to handle tomorrow and a day after that and a day after that. You know, um, we just going to keep fighting for you. How about you? i trust and believe that he's going to um, deliver us out of these to moisture with um, circumstances that we in. Right. Put out, hell that we in. Uh, put out that weak nature. You know, you, you know, us being in the flesh and shit, we worry about a lot of things. You uh -huh. know, don't worry about that bullshit. Uh -huh. You know, because uh -huh. what ultimately what the Lord <laughs> put cast all your birth, basically cast all your cares upon the Lord. That's right. You know, that's what that weak nature is. You worrying about, you know, that bitch that left you last week uh -huh. or you worrying about, you know, <laughs> uh, my wife going to take the kids. That's that. That's that weak nature. Uh -huh. You know, but what did the Lord say? He says, uh, cast away the birds of men and put off now the weak nature. Uh -huh. You know, and that's what we ought to do, bro, because if we worrying about the things that and the that we're coming into, bro, we're going to fucking die, bro. Right. These things that we're going to worry about is going to fucking get us killed at the end of the day, bro. Right. You know? Bible goes straight. Give me one more verse in that. Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to go to. 15, right fast. Mm -hmm. It say, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, mm -hmm. and haste to flee from these times. Man, we're trying to get the fuck out of Dodge, man. All right, we're not finna just sit around. Why the fuck would I be sitting around worrying about the bitch who left last week? When I'm trying to get out of Babylon, being that we don't want to be here anymore, man. Uh -huh. So we hastening to flee from these towns. We prophesying this um, kingdom Babylon down. This this beast system down. These heathen nations, Esau, even the two thirds of our people. We prophesying against this present evil world, man. We hastening to flee from these towns. And might I add to it, you know, having you know a life as a prophet, you have to understand that the prophets wasn't always comfortable. They was always on the move, man. Uh -huh. You know. They didn't stay in one place. They, you know, wasn't under their woman and shit, man. They wasn't, you know, <clears throat> basically what? They they were always afflicted, you know? They were always going through things, just like we're going through things, you know? But, um, so like you had some real quick. I, 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 con, this is, um, this is the book of Matthew 20 and 20. It no, says, like you started 18. Con, got you. This is the book of Matthew's, uh, 20 and 18. It says, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be betrayed unto the chief priests and to the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death. Who ultimately end up betraying Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, um, uh, Judas Iscariot, mm -hmm. you know? He end up what? You know, uh, basically, you know, going to the Romans, and what? The Romans end up coming and what? To take Yahweh Shai in, mm -hmm. you know? The, and it's um, a lot of these snake niggas out here today, bro, amongst us. No, uh, so like uh, Judas went to, um, to the, to yeah, the yeah. priest Caiaphas now. Con, 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 sir. No, you all good. Yeah, you all good. I know because, yeah. Yeah. 
the water, the water. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Matthews, uh, 20 and 19. It says, and shall deliver him to the Gentiles to mock and to scorch and to crucify him. And the third day he shall rise again. Right, yeah, how was you know, being uh, risen back up, yeah. you know? And here in this town, we're waiting for you, how was to make his what? His second return, you know, to deliver us out this madness and out the, the affliction that we're currently going through. But um, <clears throat> verse 20, it says, Then came to him the mother of Zebedee's children with her sons, worshiping him and desiring a certain thing of him. It says, uh, verse 21, it says, And he said unto her, What wilt thou so like it, what wilt thou? She said unto him, grant that these my two sons may sit, the one on thy right hand and the other on the left and the in thy kingdom. Right. Jumping into the point, verse 22, it says, but yeah, how I answered and said, ye know not what ye ask. Are ye able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of and to be baptized with the baptism that I am <laughs> baptized with? Mm -hmm. They say unto him, we are able. What is that cup? The cup of affliction, mm -hmm. the different trials and tribulations that you're going to go through. The straight gate. The straight gate. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of people, like I mentioned before at the beginning of the lesson, when a lot of people, you know, you know, thinking this truth is fun and games, they don't, as an elder apostle Gabar always say, they don't know what they're involved in. You have to understand what you're involved in, man. Mm -hmm. This ain't no party, bro. This ain't no, I'm finna go get drunk with the gas or some shit like that. This is not what this is, mm -hmm. you know? You have to understand, you know, coming to this truth, bro, you're going to be testing on all fronts, you know? Yeah, how was that, boy? Yep, exactly right. Read the Bible, because you read that next verse. Yep, verse, <clears throat> verse, yep, yep. Verse 23, it says, And he said unto them, Ye shall drink indeed of my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. He said, You're going to drink indeed of my cup. Right? Straight up. <laughs> That's right. I wish I told him, like, straight up. Y'all going to, for sure, for sure, you're going to have to go through some shit, boy. <laughs> That's what he was telling him. Go ahead. It says, But to sit on my right hand and on my left, it is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of my father. Mm -hmm. Right. So ultimately, man, you're going to go through it. <laughs> and as the elder brother Murphy always say, uh, I always say, man, you have to go through it to get to it. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to go through it. So don't imagine when you, <laughs> you about what? You, you just crossed the line. You know, don't, you know, don't feel, you know, don't look shocked when what? You, your wife leave you. You know, your, you having car troubles all of a sudden, you know, your family turned against you, you know, just to name a few things. Don't be, you know, surprised when these things begin to happen, because this is a part of the, the, the ride. This is a part of the walk, you know, being a part of the faith, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm get that, um, John 15, 20. John 15, 20. Yeah, I'll read it. Okay. Um, this John 15, 20 say, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If mm -hmm. they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. And, and, and it say, if they have kept my sayings, they will keep yours also, which proves that in order to be saved, you have to listen to the prophets, man. All right. Um, um, what's that? John 17. I pray that um, not only for them, but all those that believe on me through their words. So, 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 yeah, you want to, you want, you would do well to take heed unto us. We the only camp that's telling you really America finna be destroyed. Everybody else lollygagging, playing fucking ice cream music. We over here screaming missile sirens. All right. Telling you Jacob trouble is coming. So the point is in this scripture though, is that, um, the servant is not greater than his master, man. You want to, um, you're going to drink of that cup indeed, man. You know, you got to just prepare your mind to go through the um, temptations when you come to serve the Lord, man. Because right. brother's going to be delivered. Matter of fact, the scriptures say, um, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time. So by knowing this 100% truth, what you have a shot to say? Um, <laughs> even though some people might die, it's like they never died. Those who believe in me, it's like they never died. And then they say, there'll be some standing here that shall not taste death. Taste death. Right. So, so, so you got to prepare your mind to be, what, beheaded? But at the same time, you, what what the three Hebrew boys say? We are not careful to answer you in this matter. We know our Lord is more than able to deliver us. But if he don't, we still not going to bow down to your image. So the point is, man, it's just to um to know that the Lord, how about your own shot, will deliver us no matter what we're going through. We just got to go through it to get to it, like you said. Uh -huh. uh, hey, if you can, uh, I'll have that James chapter 5. Um, oh. It's James chapter 5. Uh, um, I'm going to start at uh, verse uh, 7. It says, be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth 
for the precious fruit of the earth and had long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. Mm -hmm. Be also patient. Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord. Draw it nigh. He says, um, so he says, establish your heart. So you go into a uh, strengthen, you know what I'm saying? Making mm -hmm. your, girding, girding your loins, like the brother said, man. You know, because, hey, like, you know, we, like we're going into, we all going to drink of that cup. We all going to go through it, but we got to have that, uh, that faith and that mindset that we're not going to taste death. So when it comes to, uh, the, man, the, the being affliction, the hour of temptation, well, well, well um, man, Esau Eden was about to try to stick everybody. Mm. Man, hey, man, we, this is something we got to have our loins girded uh, for, man. Why? Because some people are not going to have a, a meal right there in front of their face. But you have to have that faith in the Lord that you are going to be one of the servants that's going to eat while the rest is hungry. That uh -huh. you're going to drink while the rest is thirsty, man. You know why? Because you you got to have faith that in serving him, there is well doing. You know, there's well doing in everything that you do for the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's nothing to hold on to in this world. This is why, uh, man, being being a, a, a prophet of the Lord, you know, hey, man, it's not something uh, that, that we can just choose to do. You know, the brother was saying that, you know, it, it'll do you well if you listen to the prophets. You got to remember, mm -hmm. this is not our words, man. No. These are the words of the Lord. I'm pretty sure we, none of us chose to be. We, us three brothers that's in this car right now, we didn't choose to be here together right now, man. No. This is all the work of the Lord. That's right. And we cannot make this up, man. You know, so when it comes to the different prophecies that are withheld within the Bible, Hey, that the Lord allows certain men to believe in, go out and teach other men. Hey, right now we're living in a day and age where everything that the Lord has written is coming true right before your eyes. Man. Right. So for you to reject that or for you to once believe and then say, oh, well, now I want to go make one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. So I'm, I'm just going to not believe in these words anymore. You no, know, no, you gotta. You mean these brothers losing patience, man? Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of people is losing patience, man. That's why the scripture says, "What you know, they shall say in that day, what Lord, Lord, have we prophesied in thy name?" You no, know, loosely paraphrasing. Uh -huh. But the Lord is gonna say, "Well, I never knew you, but apart from me, you workings of iniquity." Um, 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 Elder Kazak, <laughs> who left and then came back twenty five years. He ain't been on the scene twenty five. He been somewhere off the grid. Mm. You know, man. Did you uh, already read that First Peter's? Chapter five. Nope, I can get it right, right now. Ahead, okay. It's the book of First Peter, five and nine. It says, "Um, who resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world." Uh -huh. Right. So that brother is going through it. This brother is going through it. This brother in the back seat is going through it. You know, I'm going through it. You know what? We're all going through something at the end of the day. So don't feel like you're the only brother. You know that's going through something. Right. You know, our battles may be different, but at the same time. Each and every one, uh, 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 each and every one of us is going through some type of affliction, you know, whether it be mental, whether it be, you know, physical, whether it be spiritual, you know, brothers is going through some type of, you know, a uh, 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 challenge or a uh, 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 or fight they're going through, fight, you know, yeah. and this is exactly what it is. What's the scripture that has basically talks about, you know, uh, all men are born on earth, uh, uh, shall fight, you know, loosely paraphrasing all men that are, sh uh, that are born on, uh, on earth shall, uh, shall fight, you know, loosely paraphrasing. But, you know, just to say, you know, that we're going through it, you know, the Yahweh Shem Shai, you know, said what, you know, he's not going to put you through uh, uh, as much as you can bear, you know, loosely paraphrasing, you know, but at the end of the day, we're all going through it in some type of uh, some type of way, uh -huh. you know, and that is the life of a prophet, you know, I'm going to grab that second Ezra chapter seven for you where you just uh, quoted it's, uh, second Ezra chapter seven, verse 57. It says, then answered he me and said. This is the condition of the battle, mm -hmm. which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. So, you know, uh, like the brother going into, man, you know, this is uh, uh, the straight way of the prophets. This is what they're going to have to go through. But the truth <laughs> of the matter is that hey, these curses is upon all of us. man. Mm -hmm. So whether you be a person that believe in the Bible or don't believe in the Bible or accept the Bible and don't read the Bible, or whatever the case may be, man, hey, the Lord has put the curses upon the nation of Israel to be the, uh, the poor in his uh, society, to be the afflicted, to be the ones that are put underfoot of, of base men. Man. So we have to fight, and it's just something that that we cannot uh, help to do. We got we have to fight, or else you're gonna die. The Lord said, "What the ones that lose their life for His name, Satan shall find it." Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let's see. I can get that Second Corinthians real quick. 
because we was going over, you know, certain things that men go through. And, you know, it's nothing new. You know, even our forefathers went through it. So this is the book of 2 Corinthians 11 and 23. It says, Are they ministers of Amashiach? I speak as a fool. I am more in labors, more abundant, and stripes above measure, and prisons more frequent, and deaths oft. This is the Apostle Paul speaking. It says, um, so lock your phone, tweaking. But this is the book of, uh, let me pull up this whole chapter. This is the book of 2 Corinthians 11 and 24. Mm -hmm. This is the book of 2 Corinthians 11 and 24. Same, bro. But Khan, I got it right here. 2 Corinthians 11 24 says, Of the Jews five times received I forty stripes, say one. Thrice was I being with rods. Once was I stoned. Thrice I suffered shipwreck. Mm -hmm. A night and a day I have been in the deep. Right? Uh -huh. A lot of bros having car troubles. Uh -huh. You know, just like Apostle Paul, you know, with his ship and everything. You know, he was having shipwrecks and things like that. I mean, in this time, what? Bros are having what? Car problems. You know? <laughs> Brothers tires being, you know, fucked up here and there. You know, bros, you know, you know, it's without a, a car, car getting messed up. Same thing that happened to our forefathers in the ancient times. The scriptures say there is nothing new under the sun, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And it says, um, it says, verse 26, it says, In journeys often in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils by my own countrymen. Niggas come up against us as they <laughs> did back then. Niggas coming up against us now. I always got some shit to say. You know, trying to get you, you know, basically, you know, get you in trouble. You know, basically trying to get you mixed up with things that, you know, that, that, that don't involve you. But they just trying to do it because, what, they hate you. Yeah, you know? To build a report on you. Con. Mm -hmm. It says, in perils by the heathen. These fucking heathens hate us, mm -hmm. you know. They try, you know, they try to do certain things to basically what to fuck us over. Mm -hmm. It says, "In perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren." Mm -hmm. Right, you know, motherfuckers you thought you was cool with, you know, they 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 turn your they turn they uh back on you, you know, things of that nature, you know. And it can be even, even brothers in the truth that's you know that's low down snakes, man, mm -hmm. you know. That you somebody that you looked up to, bro. Just you know what? <laughs> somebody in the world now that what that 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 talked bad about you, right. over the case may be. It says um in weir uh in weariness and pa and painfulness and watchings often and hunger and thirst and fasting often and cold and dark uh slacking and cold and nakedness. Some bros don't got places to sleep. Some mm -hmm. bros don't got you know places to lay their head down. You know time. food to eat. You know this is the the things that we're going over right now is different. You know accounts of. You know what uh, men of the Lord went through, mm -hmm. uh, what prophets went through. Yep. It says, "Um, man. Mm -hmm. huh? Uh, verse twenty-eight says, besides those things that are without, that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because ultimately, you know, as the scriptures say, you know, we endure all things for the elect's sake. Mm -hmm. You know, because at the end of the day, we know as men, as men of the Lord, that we have a job to do at the end of the day, mm -hmm. whether you like it or not, we still have a job to do." You yeah. know, because what Yahweh Bashim Yahushua said, what you, you have to do this. We have to present our body as a living sacrifice. Yeah, you know, Romans right. twelve and one. Yeah, you know, say, woe is me if I preach not this gospel, man. Con. That's right. But you got it out. Con. Right. No, no, so like you, uh, never, never, man. It's all right. Yeah, go ahead. So like, I just want to bring this one out right yeah, fast, um, because he was going into how he got beat with rod and so on mm -hmm. and so forth. But we were just talking about that, um, drinking that cup or the baptism of Yahweh Shai. So I got this Hebrew twelve and four say ye have. Not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. Um, let me see verse five. And ye have forgotten. Okay, so yeah, that's all I wanted was um verse um four, Hebrews seven four. Ye have not resisted unto blood, striving against sin. So like the shit is only going to get worse, man. They're going to bring us before the synagogues and the kings and the rulers and the judges, and they're going to interrogate us and question us about our belief, and they're going to demonize us and call us terrorists and all type of shit, man. So, so, so right now, if you giving up now, you, 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 you flaking out now, your ass ain't going to make it in the future, man. Cause this shit finna get worse than anything. And that's a rock. The second chapter we just read, it says, well, to, you know, uh, the feeble, should, they shall not be defended. Uh -huh. You know, you can't be afraid, man. Uh -huh. You can't be afraid, bro. That's why we building up our faith right now. You know, the Lord has constantly built us up through the trials and tribulations. What to, to build up our faith when these things arise, you know, what we're going to be like, what we're going to be, we're going to be hard. Right. On on top of the um, cause you know you got the, the 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 bad, the good, the bad, the ugly. You got the bad things that the prophets and the men of the Lord go through to build them up. Then you got great faith boosters like That's seeing right. chariots and mm -hmm. um praying and getting instant instant answers yeah. from your prayers and all type of miracles and 
all type of things, man. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Um, the Lord got yeah, for the or, road. Or being put in a, a, a situation that might look real dark or that look like you can't get out mm-hmm. of. And like the brother said, it's a miracle that the Lord put uh, put you through it and delivered you out of it, man. Yeah. You know, that, that, that's, that's a heavy faith booster. But, um, hey, if you can, if you, if you, yeah, if you don't got nothing else, grab that. Um, I guess we're just, if y'all ain't got nothing else, we're just ending on that 2 Corinthians 4 and uh, 17. Uh-huh. And 18. I think I was already in uh, mm-hmm. 2 Corinthians. Pull it up somewhere. You said 4 and 18? Yep. 4 and 17 and 18. Uh, uh, Con. That's, that's a throw. Uh, I'm not sure. 20. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Press oh, there you go. Oh, that shit. Got to be that that was bugged out. You say 17? Ka. Ka. Um, 2 Corinthians. Say, yeah, that's like, you go up. You, you go up a little bit. Uh, that faint not. I think that's 16. Yeah. Yeah. All right, this uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 16. For which cause we faint not, but through, but though outwardly, so like it, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day, man. Uh, so just bagging the brother up, man, because the scripture before that it says for all things for our sakes, man. So you know the good, the bad, the ugly. Hey, it's all for the elect's sake. But the Lord have these things to make us better, to mm-hmm. have us uh be perfected, man. You know, hey, because that's what that that, that establishing your heart goes into, man. Hey, because the Lord is going to have you uh, go through these things, but when you're going through these afflictions, these different trials, hey, you 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 you're making your 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 heart established, man. You know, you're, you're getting hardened through those things, and that's how you have to have. That's how you have to take it, man. That's right. Verse seventeen for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, work there. Because what I say, the um, the triumphant of the wicked is short. Uh, <laughs> so it yeah. say for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight and glory, man. Mm-hmm. You know the things that the Lord got in store for us. You can't even fathom it in your mind, man. And All you right. know the shit that so like you know the shit that we go through is small because what Micah seventy nine you know we bear the indignation of the Lord because we have sinned against them because uh-huh. in actuality all us us as a nation is supposed to be eradicated by mm-hmm. by now but this is the mercy of the <laughs> Lord bro Straight that's up. why he called it what a light affliction mm-hmm. you know because what in actuality we ain't even supposed to be here right now uh-huh. you know but you got it like Salaki. verse eighteen and say while well, we look not at the things which are seen but at the things which are not seen. But the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Man, so, that's so right. We, we yep. fighting for that um, new heaven and the new earth, man. The, the stacking riches and, and uh, um, treasures and, and, and that fourth dimension, man, the spiritual realm. All right, we 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 um stacking riches in heaven, man. That's right. I got one more, just one more. Huh. This is the book of Acts, fourteen and twenty-two. Huh. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we must do much tribulation and to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shah. Right. <laughs> much tribulation that we are gonna enter into, you know, the kingdom of heaven. Right. You know, we just ain't finna walk in, you know, we ain't finna just walk in there like, <laughs> yeah, man, just just walk in, you know, it ain't, it ain't like that. Right. You know, right. we gotta go over hurdles, we gotta go over hills, you know, we gotta climb mountains, you know, just to say the trials and tribulations that we go through. Mm-hmm. You know? The Bible says scarcely. You know, yep. we're going to scarcely make say, it, man. Yep. Huh? Kind of. Yeah, that was all I had, man. Did we read that, Mark? Mark 6 and 4? Con, yeah, right. For this the last one, right? Um, Mark 6 and 4. But Yahweh Shah said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country and among his own kin and in his own house. All right, so yeah, like, yeah, that's why the Lord say, come out. When the Lord say, come out of the world, the closest people to you in the world is the people in your house, your immediate family, your cousin, and them Pookie and Ray Ray, and, and, and then the rest of the people, you know, shit like that. So the Lord say, um, a prophet is a prophet is not without honor, but in his own country. So like, they're not going to even they not trying to hear that shit. They gonna give you that Ezekiel thirty three. Much love, yeah. He be speaking that talk, but they hard gonna go after their own covetousness, and on the inside they gonna despise you because they abominable. And, and, and you, 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 the, um, what did it say? The, uh, the rights of abomination to the wicked. That's right. So, so, yeah, man, you're not going to be welcome. Don't expect, like, you got to gird up the ones of your man. This might be your favorite brother. 
Yeah, you guys might have had the best relationship with your mother, your baby mama, whatever it was, man. When you come into this truth, when you start living the way like your how about Shimmy I was shot, want us to live, then expect this real to come up against you. So especially a prophet, man, when you out there on the highways and byways and you teaching this doctrine, you living this, people going to really come up against you, man. They don't want to hear that shit. You talking about America going to be destroyed with missiles, all right? They trying to get the next STEMI, <laughs> all right? Uh-uh. But, yeah, that was just about it, if anybody want to make a point. No, nah, that was pretty much the point, man. This is the life of a prophet, man, you know? And for you guys that's thinking it's going to be fun and joy as you enter into the truth, it's not like that. This is the reality of things. You know, when we when we teach these scriptures, we giving you the reality at the end of the day, yeah. you know, whether you like it or you don't. So with that being said, uh, we hope it was edifying. We want to end it uh, up by giving our praise on the glory too. Yeah. How about Shem? Yeah. How about Shem? Double honors to the elders and the apostles of great millstone that taught us the truth and salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. And the elect begins with 144,000. And uh, until next time, wow, Baba Ball. Baba Ball. Shalom.